if Casillas still has a lot to offer to Real Madrid, is the only answer I can think about. We talked earlier about perhaps someone from above telling him what to do. Do we think that this well, has happened here, or is this a pure Ancelotti decision? On, on this occasion, I think it's, a, it's Ancelotti saying that there is a guy that has come in and, uh, uh, and needs to um, win his right to be in the first team. That's very much like an Ancelotti kind of thing. It just lets uh, everybody fall in its place little by little. So what we may see is little by little, even maybe not this season, but soon, Keller Navas taking over, I'm convinced. Maybe, maybe uh, he will only play the cup. It's quite clear now that Iker will play the Champions League and the league. He will be the number one, but I don't know how, for how long. Uh, what's, what, what's clear as well is that uh, Keller Navas wasn't bought to be a number two. No, I think he'll be there in the short term, but whether that's this season or not, I'm not sure. Another interesting one, Xavi Alonso on the bench. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting choice because, of course, we will see if he plays with two centre midfielders. If that's the case, it'll be Modric and Kroos, very offensive. Modric. The skills by Luka Modric. Scuffed his shot ever so slightly. No danger for Juan Carlos. This next step up will change its object, not just for show. Long puts the defender. Finish it off with a good contact. There's Modric looking for Ronaldo. The goalkeeper saves and recovers well. Offside, but the initial shot would have counted. Clever stuff from Real Madrid. Nice and shown here by Real Madrid. And that does more than enough. Gets good contact, finds the target. And Carlos scoops it up at the second attempt. The Ramos in an offside position. Expecting the left. See that as well, isn't he? A six foot four centre forward. And as Rodriguez puts it in. It's again, court of a defend. Stanley, Croso, they'll keep the pressure up here, Real. It's Pepe getting forward, throwing himself. James Rodriguez not playing it. I don't think it's a 4 2 3 run, which is Kroos and Modric and James Rodriguez. And will break for Tony Kroos. Struck it well with his left boot. Matos is then dispossessed. James, the Sergio Ramos, he met it on the volley, but it was straight down into the ground. Real Madrid, a couple of appeals for handball. Ramos as well, breaks from deep. Arbelo, good movement from Benzema. Bale and Ronaldo waits, it was deflected, had to be saved at the near post. Tries to deflection from Crespo, and he'll save from Carlos. And another ball in, oh, it's a bullet of a header. Super goal to break the scoring drought for Karim Benzema. It's been coming. Cordoba have been defending and defending. Too many set pieces, too much hanging on for dear life. But in the end, Benzema does the damage. Brilliant header, super goal. Fantastic header. There's great power on the set piece as well. Nice good movement again from Benzema. You can see the relief there. It's an outswinging one, but it's got plenty of pace on it. Ramos attacks it, but Benzema gets in between two defenders. From that distance, he's not going to miss the target. And once he gets that power on it, there's no chance for the goalkeeper. Flashes past him in an instant. Excellent header from Karim Benzema and Real Madrid. Off and running for the season. Is Ronaldo. Tony Kroos played his part in a goal for the first time in La Liga. And there's Rodriguez with a dipping shot. Look how clear they have been. Just go straight through the pair with the laces. I thought he was going to try and curl it. Get some swerve on it. This is Lopez Silva. His eyes lit up there. It fell for him in some space. It was only a half chance. Resist it. There's a couple of touches that sit up nice. And also that mistake from Arbeloa. Lopez no, Silva came short. She ignored him. And now he puts it in and it's well attacked. Havanaugh was the target man. Couldn't steer his header on target. It was a good chance. Coming for the ball. There's a, a space there. That was, that was just about enough. It probably goes down as good defending, so if Ramos doesn't make that jump... Trying to, to find the youngster, and here goes Havanar again. And it was Arbeloa who came around the back. It's been a really positive start to the second half by little Cordoba. 
We talked about Marcelo exclusively playing as a left winger in the first half. There might be some defending for him to do. He's tied one goal ahead. Cross was allowed to come into the box far too easily. Haven't always causing problems for Pepe and Ramos. And on that occasion, having to tuck in and help his defensive teammates. It's Fausto Rossi, the Italian on loan from Juventus, into the near post and headed powerfully. Post. I think it was for the, the attempt at goal. They win it back again with Matos. He's much, much better in the shot and a save for Casillas. Run across and fit him for his left back. So Matos drives it into the box, doesn't catch it cleanly, nor does Casillas. Should be a wake up. He's just doing it for effect, I think. Here's James Rodriguez. The 1 2. <laughs> Tried to, I think, place that into the corner of the goal. They're in plenty of possession, it's just whether they can have their chance, they can quicken it. Like running with the ball, what his quick passes, the look at him as a player, you're aware that there might be a challenge coming in late, but it was very, very late. Another close corner. And it's well attacked, and it's going to break here for James! Good save, really good save. Because he really, really managed to put his foot through that there, the young Colombian. The little flick on, excellent first touch, he's being closed down. And Pantic it is that throws himself at it, good save from Juan Carlos. And, and Pantic is then able just to get a little nick away from James Rodriguez. Good goalkeeping, good it for Mills. <laughs> one nil defeats. This is a really good save, too. Good defenders, and Lopez and Pantic find themselves at it. Juan Carlos wouldn't have seen it too late. I don't know where he's playing. Just don't ask me where he's playing. Ronaldo tried to pick out Gareth Bale. Great jump by Gareth Bale, but he couldn't control the header when he made contact. Ronaldo's so playing. He's playing between Gareth Bale and Ronaldo at the moment. As Ronaldo hits the diagonal cross, it's a great pick out as well. Sees the movement. Want to take him quickly? And you know, then clips it back in over the head of everybody, and it's a, a shove in the back. Smile from Nico Casillas. Casillas comes out, not really makes any contact. A harsh decision there. Against Cordoba. And a long red shot and a goal. Cristiano Ronaldo celebrates at last. It's almost a sense of relief around the Bernabeu. He took the snapshot, it beat the goalkeeper, creeping in the corner. Ronaldo has his first goal in La Liga this season. Real Madrid have won their opening game, but boy, they have been pushed hard in this one by Cordoba. It's a typical Ronaldo goal. Hit with full, full venom, accuracy. There's no difference to any other player. Would love to get off the, the mark for the new season in the league, given away cheaply by Cordoba. And we can't afford that with Cristiano Ronaldo around. Has it had his best of games? Give him a chance like this, he'll knock it out of his feet. No other thought in his mind, doesn't look for a teammate. No need to, and you have his ability in class. And he has that power. Bounces just in front of the goalkeeper, Juan Carlos, who probably... Yes, they may have lost, but Cordoba can take a lot of credit from that game. There were parts of it, and very much so in the second half, where you weren't quite sure who were the promoted side and who were the champions of Europe. But ultimately it is down to winning the game and that's exactly what Real Madrid did if you can't play well.